Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and like Doctor Strange, Dormammu got a massive rework. But unlike Doctor Strange, Dormammu's rework uh, is is way better. <laughs> it's way better because he had never gotten a rework before. That's the first thing. And the second thing is he is just absolutely despicably good now for PvP. So, yeah. Yeah. He's going to become a massive problem. This is... This is like if Silver Surfer had been bad and then he suddenly became good. Dormammu is insanely good for pretty much all content now. ABX, World Boss, probably Squad Battle, PvP, Alliance Tournament, Alliance Conquest. He is so, so good. It is, it is wild. So this is, uh, you know... This is a bigger rework than Odin got. Now, the thing is, the only thing is, this is not a base kit rework. He did not get any kind of base kit rework. So that is the one sort of downside for Dormammu. But, um, yeah, it's a small downside when you are the lore, you know, when you're the ruler of the Dark Dimension. And you're just here completely annihilating characters. Like, they don't even, they don't even stand a chance. Look at this. He's like two-tapping most enemies he's got silence heal revive reflect iframe ignore uh he throws a planet at you that's pretty cool yeah i guess he gets he gets gigantic long iframes all defense down um fire resistance down he's got it all and here's the other thing let me show you he i'm playing it on i'm playing it manually but he's very good on auto play so let's check this out he is so strong I, I don't want to exaggerate this here, but okay. Well, he died. The the really the only the only weakness that Dormammu has for PvP is that he's got a very good lead for PvP. Oh come on, use your fourth skill, buddy. Is that uh, he's got long cooldown? He's got a long cooldown on his fourth skill, and his fourth skill is really his bread and butter. But for some reason, this AI is being absolutely brain dead and not using his fourth skill. I don't know what's going on with this AI. Wow, that's shocking. He's normally, <laughs> this always happens when I record. He's normally very, very good um, on auto. And I won, a, I won like 10 matches in a row, essentially, with him on auto. But for some reason, the AI decided to not use, it's his fourth skill. His fourth skill is really the, the, the killer. It's like Silver Surfer's third skill, basically. If he pops that fourth skill, you're, you're, you're done. You're basically done. But of course, if the AI decides to just uh, f off and and and, uh, and have an app, then uh, then it doesn't work. And that's why I hate AI in this game, and I hate I hate AI generally in in uh, in, uh, in video games because it's completely unreliable, and it it can it can sometimes give you a false representation of a character's value. But look at this. So he tanks he tanks the damage from Silver Surfer's third skill and bites back. He heals himself. He one taps and two taps. And here we go against Jean. He seems to be doing a better rotation this time. There's the fourth skill. She's gone. She's 100% dead. Okay, not dead yet. Soon. Soon, soon to be dead. Just, just bear with us here. Do the fourth skill, baby. Do the... Honey, honey. There you go. So not only does the fourth skill have great damage, but it also gives him the iframe ignore and reflect. That's huge. His tier three skill is clearly not having a, an easy time killing Jean Grey, but there you go. She basically just kills herself. You see how she lost 99% of her HP? She was attacking into the Reflect. And it's so dangerous because the thing is, he can trigger the Reflect when you're an iframe. Because his fourth skill, which gives him Reflect, is an iframe ignore skill. So what you basically have to do is, you have to do that. You have to catch him off guard if you want to beat him. Uh, and you have to guard break him and lock him in place with a character. Because just relying on your iframes is not going to work at all. Unless the AI is terrible like this. And uh, Oh, there you go. He pops the Reflect skill. And she starts to take she starts to take massive damage. This is actually a really good fight. This is a long, long-winded battle. He's just not using his fourth skill enough. Yeah. Just use your fourth. He's dead. Yeah. Okay, interesting. He's not he's not as invincible as we thought. He seems to be he seems to be better against the other metas. I mean, he he basically one-shots Black Widow and those types of iframe ignore characters. He's very good against Silver Surfer. He seems to struggle a little bit against Jean Grey, which is kind of funny, but. Let's go over to the character now and take a look at what makes him so incredibly strong. Because he is. He's incredibly strong. So, Dormammu got a top-to-bottom rework. They reworked literally every single one of his skills and passives, including his leadership, which is completely unheard of. 
So you've got five skill changes and Dread One. Dread One is, le is his lead. So now he gets 40% skill damage and 30% bonus damage there. On his skills, now he gets Bleed and Stun here. He gets minus 60% fire resistance, which is very good for world boss and that kind of stuff. He gets here two seconds of paralysis with ignore immunity and four seconds of immunity himself. Here he gets more fire resistance and reflect and ignore targeting, which is iframe ignore. That's busted. And then here he gets all defense down, 80% uh, chance to penetrate fire immunity, which means you can't cheese him with fire immune characters like Ghost Rider. And then he also gets a crazy 45-45 uh, buff. Um, and then he gets a four-second silence, which is very good for ABX. His lingering fear passive is the same. He revives with 100% of his HP. But now he also has the... Well, he always had the heal and the debuff removal, but it's a seven-second cooldown. Was it always a seven-second cooldown? Yeah, it was. Okay, well, it's just very, very good. Uh, and then his new leadership. So his old leadership was 24% all defense, which is terrible. His new leadership, and that's why I was using him for PvP, is that he deals all villain allies, increase their damage dealt to superheroes by 60%. So his leadership is basically a hum humongous support passive. Very, very powerful. If we see any new PvE content in the future where you're fighting against heroes, like a hero GBR, or a hero squad battle, or a hero ABX, or more hero world bosses, right now we have three hero world bosses, um, he's going to be even better than he already is. Now, of course, it doesn't have a lot of applicability currently because most PvE content does feature villains. You're fighting against villains, but it makes him amazing for PvP because most of the villains have been pushed out of PvP. Thanos has been sort of pushed out of PvP. You really only have the Hulk and Colossus who make a lot of, um, you know, they show up a lot. They make a lot of appearances in PvP. But most PvP teams nowadays feature, you know, Jean Grey, Black Widow, Silver Surfer, right? All these heroes. So he's come, he comes in and he just claps them. But not only that, this was a PvP build, by the way. He is crazy good for PvE content. So we're going to unequip this here. I haven't tried him out, but I will try him now with a Judgment. Mm, this Judgment has rolled badly. Okay, let's try him instead with a CTP of Energy because I have just so many lying around. It's just like a weird quirk of the APK. We're gonna try this here. Uh, the build is pretty much max on everything. It's very easy to max his stats because now he has a uniform and because he only needs 30% crit rate because he gives himself 45%. So your, your soft cap on crit rate is just 30%. It's very, very low. So it's very easy just to invest in everything else for him. And he's got just your regular Urus there with uh, emphasis on HP. But check this out. He's absolutely bonkers for uh pve content because he just does he has you know he does crazy damage he has a combination of um fire resist and all defense down so because of that because you're combining two debuffs a debuff lead is very very good for him of course ghost panther is also very very good for him because he deals fire damage now i'm not sure if it's exclusively fire damage i'm gonna have to go ahead and test him in um whatchamacallit in the story mode extreme to see if they resist his damage if they resist any of his damage because if it's all elemental then, then they'll take damage if it switches between elemental and energy then um they will they will resist it right so we have to check that out but here we go i'm gonna go ahead and throw the three at him and then go into the five for the proc really cool animation there uh, and then we're gonna pop the four for the debuffs there we go Smooth rotation, very nice cooldowns. Look at the damage. This is stage 70, by the way. Very high stage. His tier 3 has monster damage. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Stage 70. He's tier 3. He's got a CTP of energy. But this is stage 70. No strikers. Right? Crazy high damage. He got a, he got a massive rework. We're going to have to test him out to see how good he is at um tier two because we don't get that chance on the apk to, to sort of turn back the clock and see how good the characters are at tier two but hopefully uh he will be very very good like odin right because odin odin got a huge rework at tier two even where he was good enough to, to fight galactus at tier two so we'll have to wait and see he's trying to be a bit squirrely now ebony maw but you got a long iframe on five you can cast four any time because it's iframe ignore, right? 
think we missed our proc. And I, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There's the damage. So strong. It's such cool animations. Right? It's, it's just so dope. It's just so dope. He got such a good rework. I'm so happy for him. You know, he's an expensive character for sure. He's so slow, though. He's so... He moves so slowly. Okay, we're going to stack the all defense down uh, and set up for the next proc here. We don't want to go into the tier 3. Oh, I'm a little bit far away. No, we didn't... Oh, we, we nailed the proc. Let's go. Big damage. Big boy damage. Here we go. Yeah, this is... The thing is, without strikers, Ebony can be very annoying. But because he has iframe ignore... He can, uh, he can really catch him, you know? Can he tank these? No, he can't. I thought he was going to be able to tank the Meteors. He's so sick. He's like he's like a combo of, of Thane with the spikes and stuff. It's so cool. Thane and, like, some fire character, right? In the world, Zawaru though, so sick. Boom! So even with all the interruptions, right? Still more interruptions. This is easily a. This is like a two to three minute clear. Boom! Dormammu, baby. Ah, he's so sick. He grows taller. He's got everything. He's got everything. Sick, sick, wicked animations. Absolutely wicked animations. These are the returning player rewards, guys. Nothing special. Absolutely wicked animations. Top to bottom rework, including passives, uh, leadership, and skills. I mean, if you have Dormammu, if you want to play with Dormammu, this uniform, of course, is a must-buy. Now, of course, Dormammu is very expensive. 1,750 crystals just to buy him at one star. I really wish they would create a GBR or a way to get these characters the way that they used to be able used to be able to get Dormammu, used to be able to get Odin. But um, for people who already own him, this is a huge, huge buff to a character that's literally been collecting dust for two years. So I'm very, very happy to see him get the rework he deserves. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot of Dormammu in PvP, especially because he is going to be a nightmare. And he's really going to tip the balance once again tip the scales of balance for iframe ignore because you can't he might be able to one shot uh i haven't tested it out yet but he might be able to one shot hulk because if you iframe ignore and you trigger the reflect and then hulk thunderclaps you with his iframe ignore he might just get clapped back so and he's got really 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 high base stats you can see 40,000 energy attack 75,000 hp he's got like the fourth or fifth highest base hp stat right behind uh the hulk captain america and those guys so yeah hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think of the dread one dormammu and uh, i will see you with i am dormammu too no i'm just kidding uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care